Coming from a year of PHRF racing where you're, you know, looking over your horizon to see if there's another boat in sight, you know, all of a sudden now there's boats right next to you and you learn real fast if you're going well or if you're not going well. It's a whole different ball game sailing boat on boat. The boat goes fast, it's responsive, um, it's, it's, it's quick. Not just an inshore boat, we can sail both long, uh, long distance offshore and we can sail around the camps, you know, mano, mano, three races a day, which is what we're doing here in San Diego uh, this weekend. To come out here and drive one of these boats and go against um, such um, good drivers and good teams like Batpack and um, Invisible Hand and Fox is, is just great. The boats all came out from the factories and uh, they did their best at the factories to build the boats all the same but when you're building one boat in Dubai and another boat in New Zealand you know you're, you're gonna get pretty darn close but not exact. So what we've done is we've weighed all the boats all at once with the same scale on the same day. We've done stability tests and extensive measurements and on paper the Rio was coming out a little bit faster than everybody else and the reason for that was they were a little bit lighter. They were just coming in about you know, 100 kilograms less than the other boats. What Manu offered to do, who owns Rio, is he said, look, if I take on 125 kilograms of lead corrector weights and put them in my boat, on paper that evened the boats, and Manu agreed to that, and the other owners thought that sounded great. That is the most important thing for the class, um, to have boats that uh, everybody feels that uh, nothing is, uh, you know, they're not fast or slower than other people, and, and uh, the, their boats are good, and I think everybody still even after today, they feel the same way because, you know, it, today was a very shifty day and depending on where you were on the shift that you got ahead. And uh, many times we were right next to the other boats, we were going exactly the same speed. So I would say that these boats are absolutely equal and all the owners are happy. Uh, my name's Marcos McGee and I'm 17. My name's Riley Gibbs and I'm 20 years old. We need to be very cognizant of bringing in the youth and looking after them and making sure that we continue to that's how we grow our sport and keep the sport alive. Being on a boat like this is unbelievable. It's just everything's so much bigger, so much stronger, and it's just, it's just so fast. <laughs> it's a handful. The biggest thing that I think sets apart a professional from an amateur is like the spatial awareness and the ability to anticipate the next move. And it's like playing chess on the water. So working with Gavin, who's Gavin Brady, who's our tactician, has just been phenomenal. You know, I've been taking away chunks and information here and there and I mean it's this past weekend's been really helpful to my sailing personally. You know where the bulbs uh, attached to the to the fin um, there's been movement on the uh, on the cover plates which seems to be just cosmetic uh, but uh, it appears from underwater uh, video that backpack has had some sag on the on the bulb and that's just uh, a no-no week. So even though we don't see that on ours, uh, because we're sister ships, we're identical, uh, we're going to have to check that out. You know, we don't want to go sailing until we're sure that we're structurally sound. Those guys came and talked to, to those to us on Fox and Rio and said, hey, look, we don't really feel right about going out today. We could, but it's not good for the boat. We agreed that the scores from today, they're going to count for this regatta, but they're not going to count for the season. So kind of waived the rules a little bit and um, we also waived the crew requirement and Rio and, and Fox are taking the owners from Invisible Hand and Bad Pack on their boats. So we're sort of mixing the teams up a little bit and you'll know, have sort of a fun day out there today. The boats raced a tight race. They were very, uh, very close to each other and it's good racing. If you make a mistake, you're gonna lose the, you're gonna lose that race. I mean, 